The Upper West region recorded its first COVID-19 case on March 27 this year. The region witnessed a rise in confirmed COVID-19 cases with a case count of 88 and three related deaths. This notwithstanding, it appears the fight against the dreaded virus is yielding the desired impact in the region as all the 88 infected persons have been treated and discharged. So what is accounting for the seeming success in the fight against the virus in the Upper West region that has crippled many economics and wreaked havoc on individuals and families in other parts of the world? We have done uh, uh, in, in the past was to actually look for these cases. Um, uh, when people uh, were suspected, we quickly went, uh, took samples, uh, quarantined, and then isolated the cases, treated them. And so it, there was minimal spread. Um, that has enabled us to be able to contain uh, the spread in the region. In spite of this strife, it appears some residents in the Upper West region are grossly flouting the COVID-19 safety protocols. City news checks in most public places such as markets, lorry parks and funeral grounds indicate that the social distancing protocol is not being adhered to. Majority of people were also seen without nose masks, while hand washing facilities were not seen in such places as witnessed at the early stages of the pandemic. We thought the virus has gone down. It has reduced. So, and more especially, upper west here, yeah, I don't think the virus is here. That's why we are not wearing the nose masks. This was the situation at the OA market. If I wear it, my ears pain me. That's why I remove it. Um, now, here, half and half here, the social distance didn't work. We got look at the way we sit. So I don't think uh, no smart is very important more than the social distance. That's my mind. So if I didn't wear this thing, I don't think anything bad.